All right, Keith, please don't, please don't be getting sick. We need I'm you fine. on the desk. Oh my gosh. Just kidding. A lot floating around these it days. Was, yeah. um, it was bright and brisk out there today. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. You've, now you, you like put it? me down another path, which is don't go down. <laughs> I like how it's normalized not wanting to be near sick people. We talked about this last right. week when I had strap. Yeah. And, I'm uh, so sorry, everyone. I was standing at the bus <laughs> stop. I should have ignored it. With a, uh, a little girl down the street. She is lovely. And she's like, my mom and dad aren't at the bus stop today because they have the stomach bug. It's been going oh. around my house. So I was like, yeah, cool. Tell me more See about you that. From the <laughs> <of> the <street>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure you get on the bus safely, but I'm doing it from over here. All right, here's a look at the radar. You can see the last of the snow shower is just moving out over down East Maine. We had a coating to up to a half of an inch of snow in a couple of spots, especially in the mountains and foothills. This is part of a front that's going to make us much colder tonight. Temperatures dropping very rapidly tonight into the single digits into the mountains, teens elsewhere uh, by early tomorrow morning. And tomorrow's bright, but we don't make much progress at all on temperatures. We end up in the 20s for highs even along the coastline in southern Maine. Teens in the mountains will probably be blowing as much snow as possible, I would think, uh, with those ideal temperatures during the middle of the day. But it is cold and it stays cold overnight tomorrow night and through the first half of Saturday, which is a mixture of sun and clouds. Saturday during the day is fine, just so we're clear here. If you've got anything going on, it's not until the evening and probably mostly after midnight. This is 11 o'clock that the snow starts to build in from the west. This storm is interesting because there have been changes and wobbles back and forth that have been interesting to us as weather weenies. But overall, I think the theme remains the same as it has been since Monday, which is this is a bigger system for southern Maine and southern New England than it is for the rest of the state. And that so that remains the snow coming in Saturday night, heaviest through the middle of the day, it looks like on Sunday. But look, it's kind of flat. If you were to draw up an ideal snowstorm, you'd put it here, maybe not here. Or if it's going to be here, it's going to be bigger, more elongated. And so our heaviest bands stay over the southern third or so of the state into the mid coast. And this whole thing moves out by Sunday evening. We'll zoom in a little bit here so you can get a better look with the snow building in around midnight again over western Maine. Temperature is plenty cold. We're not worried about precipitation type at all. In fact, one of the things we have to think about is how fluffy this snow is going to be, how much that impacts snowfall amounts. Snowing through Sunday morning through the middle of the day, but notice the snow doesn't really make it too much farther than Bangor as it stands. And then the snow wraps up on Sunday evening. So hold it. I think hold the map that we had yesterday. I don't see any reason to change that at this point. If anything, if the models hold this way, we'll have to pull this three to six down a little bit and take Bangor out of it because verbatim, they wouldn't get three to six inches of snow right now. They would get less than that. But I think we're in a good spot here with six to 10 along the coastline. Again, really light, fluffy snow. And the mountains will make up some of this with the ratios. They could get 20 to one ratio. So 20 inches of snow for every one inch of liquid. Typically it's 10 to one. So it's gonna be really fluffy stuff, easy to move around. I think this is a nice little s snowstorm for us because it's a Sunday morning, things are quieter, and it's not heavy, slushy stuff. Okay, that's the positive. Oh now, boy. Wednesday, okay. I know it like as much. Wind gusts still look like they could be 50 miles an hour, if not higher along the coastline. Snow changing to rain there, so that's gonna be a messy one, but um, we'll try to nail it down as we get a little bit closer. Sorry, we'll get through the first one. Yes, Let's which just... I think is going to be more pleasant than yeah, the second we'll one. Yeah, we'll enjoy that one. Yeah. Keith, thank you.